Um, it is currently about quarter past Mommy, ten. What? You want to get up? Oh. Turn around. <laughs> A messy face. I got pony. Yeah, you got pony. It's currently about quarter past ten. Mm. We have a party at eleven, so I literally have to rush and get mm. changed. Mm. Hear me, I'll come down here, look. Mm. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's a Saturday. Um, I thought I'd vlog for a weekend this time because I, my school routine's pretty similar. Yeah, messy face and messy hair. So yes, yeah, so we are currently getting ready to go to a party. So we've got like 45 minutes to half an hour, half an hour, 45 uh -huh. minutes to get ready. Because we're going to a party, Go. aren't we? Yeah! We're going to Jack's party. Yeah! With all the children there, I probably won't be able to video I do anything. I do yeah. yeah. So yes, I thought I'll um, just go through our weekend. Um, Go to a puppy. Yeah. Okay. Um, don't forget to like the video. Go to puppy. And if you are new, please yeah. subscribe and don't forget. Forget to press that notification button. Yes, we are just going to get ready to get going. ready I timed it obviously from recording it and it only took me 13 minutes to do my makeup so I've got minutes um not far from here baby but this one's all ready but this one decided to put makeup on too so Ava we need to do your hair and get that makeup off your face don't we want your shoes on okay Drop these ones. Pink ones. Blue ones. Yeah. Um, I do. I do. Did you get? Did you get a Moana baby wipe? Did you get a baby wipe? No, she didn't. Do you want to hold it? Yes, please. Hello. Is it you, Ma? Like the end is crazy. <laughs> Let's get your face washed and your hair brushed and put back up, yeah? Okay. Okay. You're gonna talk to everybody. Hi. I just know. I just know. I just know. Andrew, would you go fetch me a hairbrush? Yeah. Oh, you need a brush. Yeah. A hairbrush, please. I just know. I just know. I just know. What have we got to sing at the party? Puppy. What have we got to sing? We've got to sing. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. I know you don't like your hair being up, do you? Yeah. Happy, happy birthday! Can I hold the camera when we're in the car? Jack, no, mate, because I'm going to put it on the thing. Happy Hi. birthday to you. Sit down then. Guys, we are. Oh, I need to get through your bumper as well. Ready. Right, come on, let's see here. Oh, it's nice and pretty. For the, um, the party today. Yeah, you don't know the person, do you, Andrew? I know their name, though. Oh, yeah, you know the name. Yeah, Jack. Is, this is Ava's friend's
Yeah, we're going to play with Jack. So let's go. Did you enjoy your party? Yeah. Ava, did you enjoy it? Ava. Ava. Yeah. Did, did you, you enjoy your party? Enjoy the party. Yeah. For well, the minute, they are eating sweets because they got um, cake and a goodie bag like cone thing full of sweeties and you're eating that at the minute aren't you? Yeah. Is it nice Ava? Yeah. Was it fun? Now bouncy castles didn't you? Only bouncy castles. Yeah and then you had them big foam um, block things that you could build and you're jumping off onto these big mats. You had fun. Are you tired out now? What are we going to do when we get home? Do you remember? Good. Yeah. We're going to do some recording. Have you decided what games you want to play? Fortnite. Fortnite. Okay. Fortnite and Roblox. Okay. That's two videos. Yes. So yeah, we're on our way back home now. Um, after that party, we're going to sit and chill. And Andrew's going to do some recording on his, for his channel. Yes, hopefully these will be... Ava's going to be tired out because she woke up at 6 o'clock this morning. And she seemed very tired before the party, so hopefully she'll sleep in the car or want to nap when we get home. For a little bit. Yeah? No, I'll just say before leaving that Ava's going to fall asleep when we get home. She's already asleep. We've just got home. Oh! Do you want to get out this side, mate, and open the um, door? But, Mommy, I need a drink. Let's <laughs> get a drink inside. Because I need a drink too. I think Ava wants one as well. I'm dying of thirst. Yeah. I want to get out myself. Do you want the You're going to the door. And show oh. everybody how good you are. Go unlocking the door. What? So you're going to show everybody how good you are at unlocking the door. No, not the car, the door. Okay. Let me get on my side though. Okay. That is fine with me. I'm looking for my keys and thinking, go on. <laughs> oh, where are you going, Andrew? It's left me. Can't get out. Child lock. Forget about that, didn't I? Oh, I can't believe I didn't bring my sunglasses. Good job. Oh, now Ray isn't car. She's woken up. I'm not leaving you, mate. We're just unlocking the door. Uh, you are coming, baby. You're going to get your sweeties. What about these? No. No. Good job. Should we lie down, Eva, and put something on telly for you to chill out to? Where was the post been? This is to Daddy. Oh. Move out the way of the door, then, please. Thank you. I'll put it on his desk. So we never Daddy. Is it ideas? Yeah, put it on his Oh, face. where's my keys? There they are. Every time it oh, unlocks the door, it always leaves them in the door yeah. and then I forget them. Okay. We've um, recently come to the conclusion that we need an office. Because I'll show you. Excuse me, but. Yeah. We've got the green screen, the light. And the dual um, hey, monitors set up. I tell you, mommy. And all the paperwork you have. See, when you sit there now, it goes all blurry again. Yeah. Well, Ava was absolutely fine. Oh, you can't Come see on, the mommy. Come on. Okay, so we're. Uh, yeah, I, I think somehow we need to. Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on. <laughs> Um, whilst Andrew is recording downstairs, <laughs> we are in Ava's room. Oh, you're going to know it's like baby. We're playing with baby, aren't we? <gasps> Baby's got Ava's old hat on. Show, show everybody the hat. Baby's hat. 
Oh, baby's hat. Let everybody see baby's hat. Oh, it's got Ava's old hat on. That used to fit you. And it. My little pony. I don't. Yeah. My day on. You don't put your, your feet through it. You put your head in it. What are you doing? Is Belle and Moana hiding? Are you hiding from the beast? <laughs> Hello Belle. Do you want to dance? It's so cute. She gets like another little toy and starts singing Beauty and the Beast song. Oh, oh, oh. There we go. Who's going to sing it? Cinderella? Cinderella going to sing it? Yeah. Okay. Tell us all the time. Song is all the time. Beauty and the beast. Oh, I might not like to sing it. Well, do you want me to sing it again? Tell us all this time, song us all this wine, beauty and the beast. Yeah, we're just um, chilling, watching some YouTube. Andrew is playing um, at my sister-in-law's house with my niece. So yeah, we're just chilling and watching some YouTube and I'm... Uh, well, my foot is getting some rest. Come on, come on. Come on. Which I probably should be cleaning the living room, but hey, because there are some toys everywhere. I'm resting. Hey. Andrew's done some recording, I've done some editing, and I've done my films. So yeah, we've got um. Yeah, we're just gonna chill out for a bit before Daddy gets home from work, and yeah. then we decide what I'm cooking for dinner. Hi, Daddy. What? You know, just come home for work. What do you want for dinner? Um, strawberries. Strawberries. Yeah. <laughs> she wants strawberries for dinner. Strawberries. Strawberry, mommy. You want strawberries? Strawberries. Strawberries. Strawberry. You like strawberries? Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're your favourite. Yeah. Yeah. So I suppose I'm making strawberries for dinner. <laughs> sure, we can have something a little bit more, more exciting than that, Ava. Bubble. Not a bubble. Oh, popo, yeah. This one is popo. Yeah, yeah. Trying to rest it as much as I can. And not. Uh, yeah, the doctor said that. He said, <laughs> I'm not 30. <laughs> he says, You're still under 30, you're still young enough to fix it. So, um, oh, dropped it pretty much. So, yeah, he said that, um, I'm not it's not the best of ankles. Yeah, he said that, um, by trying to like manipulate it is probably the best thing to do. So I have to do these exercises where I bend my toes and it hurts. Um, but it's basically, so stretching. It helps. You can't wear it, this is too big for you. Uh. Oh, it basically strengthens my muscles. So we said that the stronger the muscles are in my foot, the, the better the tendons will be. Um, and yeah, I've just got to do it through the pain. Um, and I have to hold it for five seconds and do ten of those. I didn't say how often, but it just says like every now and again, so I'm assuming it's a few times daily. Um <laughs> He says it should be able to fix it permanently. Um 
says if it doesn't fix by itself by doing all the exercises and wearing the support then I need to go for surgery to get my foot fixed so we'll have to see um, hopefully it can be but I don't like wearing trainers and the, the other option I've got for shoe wear is old people's shoes mm. I'm too young to wear old people's shoes so yeah, I'm just trying to um, wear my trainers as much as I can, but at the minute, because the weather's decent, I've been wearing my sliders because they have the extra support in there as well, um, which I'm glad I got them, rather than getting like flip flops and stuff, but um, I did get some insoles that I want to put, I don't think I'll put them in my ballerina shoes, I think I can't wear it, really wear them in there. Um, because the pointed ones and they're just going to make the insole a bit, yeah. So I'm saving the insoles for when it gets a bit colder and I wear boots because I like my little ankle boots. I'll stick them in that. Yeah. Hopefully it will fix itself very, very soon. Apple. Apple, yeah. She's watching Snow White. Well, YouTube Snow White. Mommy! Oh, baby. Snow White Apple. Yeah, Snow White Apple. It's strange how it started, it kind of like, because he asked when did it start and I was like well, um, a week before I went to the Earth Flowers I kept feeling like there was a stone in my sock or my shoe, I kept trying to get it out and it wouldn't come out and I couldn't find a, like, a stone or anything. I then, I was, it was then like on and off where then again it felt like it was in there but at least get it once twice a day. But then I, I come on the Friday night, Daddy, I Daddy. took my daughter to bed. I don't, I don't need one on that one. I took my daughter to bed and I'm thinking, it feels like there's like, the stone in my shoe again, but I wasn't wearing any shoes or socks. And I'm like, well this hurts quite a bit. And I checked at my foot and literally, if I can, I'll insert some photos, which I should be able to the ball of my foot basically where your, your big toe bit um, at the back comes out and then it kind of like goes in and obviously that it just comes out slightly where your big toe is um, underneath your foot mine will basically go in like that and then it look like I'd have a massive ball on it and then it'd go normal so like the two toes next to my big toe underneath there was like a big ball and I mean big so like this big It'd be like a swollen like ball bit and I noticed it and because I have fibro I thought I'll just stick it in a fibro group because obviously with fibro you kind of get um, other things flare up when you have a flare up so I thought I'll put it on there to see if anybody else to see if anybody else um, has something similar and that they can tell me it's just related to fibro it's just because of flare up So, what do you want to help with? Yeah. That, okay. Um, and I popped it in the group and I just said, is, is this to do with the fibro? I don't know um, what it is. I just felt like there was something in my shoe for the past few days and then, t and then today I noticed it flaring up. So I left that, I posted Thank that on there. You. You're welcome. And um, everyone started then commenting going, that is yeah, seriously yeah, swollen, you need yeah. to get that looked at. And I'm thinking, well, it's not that swollen. Oh, well, I didn't think it was that swollen. Um, and I was like, no, nah, it should be fine. And they're like, you need, you should get it checked out um, because it could just get worse. And I thought, like, oh, I'll call the doctors on Monday and make an appointment. And this is, it's closed. This is, it's bank holiday weekend. And I was like, oh, yeah. So um, I called my out of hours <laughs> doctor. Yeah. Um, and basically says to them, do, like, do, sh 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 do I need to come in or can I just leave it? And I have something called Factor 5 Leiden. Yeah, I uh, I don't have the two genes, I have the one. Um, which means I'm prone to clotting more than others. Um, because I've not really had a clot, I kind of have, I've been treated for one but they couldn't find it but my blood test came up as positive for it. Because I've not actually had um, like a major clot, I don't need to take any medication for it but I have to be 
um, careful of other things that I take. So I can't take something that can make my blood clot more. Um, so things like the pill, I can't be on that. I have to be careful on flights and I have to make sure that I keep my feet mobile and um, not like a bit on the door day. Um, and yeah, it's like when I was pregnant with Ava, I had to be on blood thinning injections every single day because obviously you're more at risk when pregnant. And then when you've got a blood clot disorder on top of it, you become a very high risk. Because I'm prone to, to blood clots, anything that, if anything's swollen, <laughs> um, I have to go in, basically. So they turned around to me and said, you need to come in. Um, just so we can check it and make sure there's nothing serious. And I'm thinking, well, I know I've not got a blood clot. I mean, who's got a blood clot in the fault? But they wanted me to go in anyway. But it wasn't like a &E, It was just out of hours doctors. Um, I went in there. The doctor basically turned around and went, I don't know what it is. Because I take a lot of pain from my fibro anyway. He told me to then start taking my naproxen, which is a really strong anti-inflammatory. <laughs> this gel that I've got that um, I put on as well, that's an anti-inflammatory gel, ibuprofen gel I think, that I can use at the same time. And he said if it's not improved with an aproxin, um, if it's gotten worse, or yeah, if it just stays the same, Mommy. yeah, if it stays the same, then um, go back. So he said if it's still the same in a week's time, then I've got to go back. Still the same in a week's time, but I didn't go back. <laughs> And then I left it over two weeks and then I went back. And I went back, to, I, but I went to my doctor's and he said it is very swollen. And then that's when he mentioned that the two bones, uh, well, he called them bones, but uh, the, the tendons, well, you know, <laughs> that go down obviously from the top of my foot down to the little, the, the two toes next to the big one, so obviously the big one, and then that foot there, that, that, that two there was bothering me, and the two next to it was bothering me. Yeah, it's just they're not aligned, they're not in the position they need to be, and that kind of thing is I'm thinking, have I got like a dislocated foot or toe or something? Well, because he calls it bone, the bone's out of place. I was like, okay, but the tendons, so. Yeah, so the two tendons that go down to my toes, and um, that kind of like control my toes, are not in the place they should be. So it's not supporting my foot properly, which is causing too much pressure on the ball of my foot, causing it to swell and be painful. And then because it's swelling, I then get, it affects my nerves. So if I send it funny, my toes tingle, um, or sometimes I'll just get really like pins and needles, but like painful pins and needles. Because I've got rounded toes, my toes don't hit flat against the floor, they kind of like do that. He said, so it's kind of like the ball is hitting it and they've only got slight, um, they, they don't have slight help from the toes. The majority of it's all the ball of my foot. And because I've got very high arches, the side of my foot's not supporting it either. Mika. Thank you. Mika. So, yeah, he says that I need to get more support on my foot. Da -da. It. So, um, yeah, that's what I suggested that I needed. Um, better shoes, but obviously when I went in I was wearing my trainers and this is these perfect and I was like yeah They're the only thing that doesn't hurt that much when I walk in them um, If I wear normal shoes, they hurt it hurts to walk um, but they Now and again, I'll get a bit of pain, but it's not bad when I'm walking Mama. them Inside the house that was my biggest worry because I spend a lot of time in the house. I've got two young kids you go over. I've got two young kids I basically spend the majority of the day editing videos and things. Um, so yeah, I spend a lot of time inside. So I was worried about like, well, what am I gonna do around the house? Because slippers, yeah. yeah. As I can get some supportive slippers, I tried my own slippers and they just hurt more because the ones I had were slip-ons and I was finding that I was crunching my toes together so they wouldn't fall off, which then made it worse and hurt more. And then I, was, I did have them like sock on, but you kind of like bend over, they look like little slippers, but they weren't thick enough to support me. Um, 
I have seen some thong ones I like, but I think I'm just gonna have the same problem with them. Unless I wear granny slippers, where I literally love the that boots, for example. The boots. I'm not so great in the boots because when I walk downstairs, I usually fall down them in the boot slippers. Um, unless I wear like normal like old granny ones slippers, then that's the only thing I can think of. Really. Thank you. But um, yeah. So I thought I need something around the house where. I could stick something on and that's obviously where these come in, the electrical thing. Um, they've got holes in and stuff so they're not, um, they're, they're breathable. So hopefully I can get it fixed soon, or it'll fix itself soon, that would be great because I don't really want surgery on my foot. I don't really fancy that. So that means I'll be out, my foot will be out a lot longer than it is, it is at the minute. It's the minute I can bear with it. You know. So now Andrea's back. Ava is uh, in bed. Not asleep yet, but it is quite late. Um, it's a weekend after all. It's about nine o'clock, quarter past nine. Me and Andrew are just playing frustration. He is the green. I know the blue. Blow. And I've got the genie. It's your turn. I got one. Yes, basically you have to get a six to be able to get a player out. And I just got a six. So I get a player out. And you get, and, and you've only get, 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 and then I get another spin. Two. One, two. So six. yeah, we're going to have fun playing this. And then we have to go. No, it's cheating. Mm. So I'm just going to end it here. Um, I hope you enjoyed today's vlog. If you have, please give me a thumbs up. Um, if you're new, please subscribe and don't forget to press the notification bell to be notified of all my future videos. Yes, I hope you have an amazing rest of the day and I will see you soon. Bye!